Jesus and his disciples got into a boat and he said, let's cross the lake. They started out and while they were sailing across, he went to sleep. Suddenly a windstorm struck the lake and the boat started sinking. They were in danger, so they went to Jesus and woke him up. Master, master, we're about to drown. Jesus got up and ordered the wind and waves to stop and they obeyed and everything was calm. Then Jesus asked the disciples, don't you have any faith? But they were frightened and amazed. They said to each other, who is this? He can give orders to the wind and the waves and they obey him. It's easy to pretend that we wouldn't have been like the disciples. We would have had more faith. We would have trusted in him more in the storm. But no doubt that we're currently experiencing the storms of life. And it's fair to say that during the last couple of months, most of us will have had a number of occasions where we said or thought, we're about to drown. Should we be better than that? Well, hang on a minute. At least four of the disciples were fishermen who would have known that lake like the back of their hand. They knew Jesus had a special relationship with God and personally had seen him do some amazing things in the previous weeks. Yet they were struggling in the face of the storm. There's no escape from storms, they'll come to all of us. Even with Jesus alongside us, we're not immune from danger. There are times when we might think God is asleep on the job because things just seem to be a bit out of control. There are times when each one of us might think we're sinking. But no matter how bad it gets, even if you're up to your neck in water, keep faith. Faith enables us to put our trust in God's hands, no matter how fierce the storm. Faith does not pretend that a storm doesn't exist. It does not mean we're exempt from taking care of ourselves or others. Faith ensures that we're not overcome with anxiety, stress and worry. Faith enables us to trust that God does care even when our weakness causes us to think that God has given up and isn't bothered anymore. Now his first disciples went on to be some of the greatest people of faith and suffered immensely for him. Yet when they were tested, even they had doubts and struggles. We're in great company.